This is calculator question number 35 on practice test 5 in the 2018 College Board Prep Book. It's also the May 2016 SAT. College Board describes a garden with a relationship between the length and width, and they tell us that the total area is 104, and they ask for the length. So let's write an equation. The length is 5 more than the, the width. So I'm going to write the area as the width times 5 plus the width. And I also know the area is 104. So I'll set those two expressions equal. W, 5 plus W equals 104. I can solve this by hand, but this is a calculator question. So I'm going to put the left side of my equation in Y1 on my graphing calculator, the right side in Y2, and graph them in a window where I can see a y value of 104, so how about y max equals 200, and where I can see any reasonable value of w, how about x max equals 20. And then my graph looks like this. I have y equals 104, and then I have my w, 5 plus w, that looks something like this. And when I find the intersection, which you should know how to do that on a graphing calculator, second trace on my TI-83 or 84, Choice 5 is intersect, and I hit enter three times to get x equals 8, where x is the variable in my equation. Anytime I have an equation with only one variable, finding the x value of the intersection will give me the value of that variable. Now, the width is w, which I just found as x on my graphing calculator, and that is 8, but they're not asking for the width. The question is, what is the length in feet? And the length is 5 plus w, which is 5 plus 8 equals 13. And that would be the answer. We could also solve this by hand. It's not a good use of our time. But w times 5 plus w is w squared plus 5w equals 104, or w squared plus 5w minus 104 equals 0. And we can factor that. We know it's W and W. We've got a positive and a negative. And one of them is 8, and one of them is 5, and is that true? No. One of them is 13, and one of them is 8, because 13 times 8 is 104. And the 13 has to be positive, and the 8 has to be negative, and that works for FOIL. If this product is 0, then W plus 13 equals 0, so W equals negative 13. Or W minus 8 equals 0, so W equals positive 8, and that is the width that we found. And from there, you add 5 to get the length. I prefer to solve equations with only one variable on the graph and calculator because it's the best use of my time and my energy. It's always better to use AAA batteries than mental energy on a, an endurance test like the SAT. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.